was checking in. Just wanted to do a quick video on my life with an autoimmune disease and what all it takes for me to get ready. Um, I showed you guys just a quick video with no sound earlier of waking up and finding that your bandages are not where you left them. And uh, I had an infection, or not infection, it's leakage, whatever it is, all over the bed. But this is what I look like in the morning. You can see I have all my stubble. And, but as you can see, that's better. So y'all can see. This is what I deal with every day. Um, try not to show you guys anything that you don't need to see. But as you can see, tape has ripped me to death. That's a place that's not hidden anymore. But anyway, just thought that I would show you. We're getting ready to head down to the road. But I just want to show you what it's like for me trying to get ready. And this is what I look like before. Um, I'm getting ready to hop in the shower, which normal people will, it would take about 10 minutes to shower. For me, it takes about 30, just because I can't do things as quick and as easy as everyone else. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower. Okay, y'all, after 30 minutes in the shower, I'm out. Everything has been done, except I have to do some trim work, if you can see. A little bit of hair, but I just thought I'd show you what... The places look like without any bandages so y'all can see and then i'm just gonna go ahead and get ready but this whole process is probably gonna take me about an hour and a half but we're already halfway through so this is the one that i always have just the band-aid on the top and as you can see it has like little holes in it but these are they're just the scars but sometimes they get inflamed so that's under that arm and then under this one is really bad right now. It's really inflamed. And this is what happens after I have a cheat. <laughs> it just it really just messes with me. And I have other ones that I can't show you because of the location of where they're at. Um right between the thighs and then between the butt cheeks and stuff. So it's really bad. But I can't show you those. Um, you know, and even on this, I'm going to have to give like a, a warning of graphic details and things, but I'm going to go ahead, take care of this with my handy dandy, where is it? Do, do, do. This thing, what is it? It's one of those magic touch things or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then put on some primer, some makeup, and then I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so total process was about an hour and well... 423 now and I started around 3 so it's 423 um, my hair still wet so I didn't really do anything did I did put on my makeup got dressed and that's about it so with an autoimmune disease there's just things that you just cannot do as fast as everybody else my husband got in the shower and his clothes and shaved and cut his own hair and was done in 20 minutes so for me just bandaging makeup putting mousse in my hair, putting my clip in, and getting dressed took me an hour and 23 minutes. And that's including the shower. So it, it's pretty rough. And I'm just gonna take you along today so you guys can see exactly, you know, how hard it is. You know, Keita's been great, it's helped me a lot, but there's still a lot more that I need to do and get more strict about. But we are heading to that rehearsal that I told you guys about and not really sure how it's gonna be set up or the layout and there's another thing I have to worry about is if it's a long walk if it's accessible for me um just things that I have to deal with so I'll show you guys when we get there okay guys checking in first meal for today I, I never felt so basic in my life I got Starbucks and what I got is just a venti cold brew iced extra shot of espresso sugar free cinnamon dolce stevia and heavy cream and also we decided to go with Chick-fil-A. So I got 12 Chick-fil-A nuggets. Grilled, hubby's got the same. Wait to the camera. That's what I'm gonna get and then I'm gonna have some ranch. Um, we thought about getting something from somewhere else but this is just easy. And I know the food that they're gonna have today is like carb city, like everything is carbs, carbs, carbs. But that's cool because not everybody's on keto. So we're good, but we're going to go ahead and eat this, and we'll check in with you guys a little bit later. In half a mile, take the West Virginia 601 exit towards...
South Charleston. Dave. Hey guys, it's been a while since I checked in. It's 9:30 now, so we just left the uh, rehearsal for that wedding, and we went to Walmart. And it's too dark to show you my face, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you. We got some of these turkey bites. They're not the best ingredients, but if you're not doing strict keto, it works. And also, a monster. I have to work tonight, so I'm needing to stay awake. Going to be making either some tacos or quesadillas. Not really sure which one I want yet, but pretty excited. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Pretty excited. We went down the, what was it, the taco aisle? Like mm -hmm. the, where they have like the Taco Bell sauces. And anybody that's ever went to Taco Bell, they have like their quesadilla, like the sriracha sauce or the Baja sauce. They now sell it at Walmart. And it's cheap. It was like a dollar a thing. And the ingredients are horrible. I mean, I'll be honest, they're not that good. But, you know, if if you're not really worried about that right now, then it is good. So, I'm kind of debating on whether I want to do the, the quesadilla or the taco. And I got some carne piccata. Um, I got some peppers and onions we're going to mix in there. So, I'll show you guys that when we get home and I have cooked. So, right now, we're just going to enjoy our turkey bites, our monster, and enjoy our, what, 35-minute drive home? Yep, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so dinner served. Just got finished with this. This is the carne piccata. Just chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper. And I am doing tortillas again. Don't hate me. This is the sauce I was talking about. Taco Bell Chipotle sauce. It tastes exactly like what they put on their uh, quesadillas. And it has three carbs per two tablespoons. I'm not going to be using that much. And then we also found the Baja sauce. This is what they used to use on their like gorditas and chalupas. Um, focus, focus. And it has two carbs per two tablespoons. And this one kind of has more like a Parmesan cheese kind of thing. So that's going to do it for us today as far as food goes. I'm going to check in with you guys a little bit later to finish out, you know, how today actually went for me. So I'll see you guys in a bit.